Welcome to Workflow 3, Documenting a Patient Visit. In this workflow, you will learn how to generate a template, how to populate requisitions and review results, how to create a consult note and send a referral, and how to create a doctor's note. Once we are in a patient encounter or visit note, we may want to add a template. Uh, for some of us, that may be something such as a SOAP note. Make sure we are in a new window. Come up here and type the word SOAP. It will give us an option to choose and it will automatically place into the note. We are now able to write into our SOAP note. If we would like to now add a new e-form to this chart, we'd like to send this patient off to the hospital for some imaging. We are going to click the plus sign to the e-forms. And let's say we'd like to order a CT scan for this patient. We will now click hospital imaging requisition. We will click CT. We will choose our type of CT, let's say head. We will type our reason in here. We will scroll down to the bottom and we will print and submit our form. Once this has closed, it automatically saves into the chart. And when we refresh our screen, it will show up under eForms as our new eForm. When the result for this CT scan, scan comes in a few months later, it will be found under documents. If I wanted to view it, I would simply click CT scan result, uh, such as this lab requisition at the top, or um, anything I like. If by clicking the word, it will bring me in to the document. If I would like to create a consult note to send this patient off to see a specialist, I will simply click add. I'm adding new information, so I'm clicking add under the consults. Our new consult has now come up. So your name will be at the top as the physician. You may now pick your service. So we would like to refer this patient to a dermatologist. Click. We will now choose our specialist by clicking this bar. And you can load all of your local specialists into this area. So you may choose a specialist of your choice from clicking this drop down. You may choose the status. If this patient has an urgent skin issue, you can click it as urgent. You may then pull down and type information in here. The reason is skin rash. By clicking into the next box, I can actually choose to add history from the patient chart that is already existing by clicking family history or medical history and anything that is in those top four CPP boxes of the chart will then add on to my referral or my consult note. When I scroll down to the bottom, the medications are automatically um, added in. I now want to submit consultation request and print. This submits it into the chart. And I can now send it whether I send it internally or print and fax it manually by clicking print. If I would like to show that this dermatology referral has been sent off properly, potentially by your MOA, I can click here on the word and you'll notice the status on the left side. Right now, because I just created this referral, it still says nothing, but I did fax it off. So I can either use it as a completed status, or if I would like to have a callback from the specialist office before I complete this referral, I can click pending specialist callback, and that will change the status. And I can update this consult request. If my patient requires a doctor's note for this visit due to their terrible skin rash, we will create by clicking plus. And we can use many different options. One I like is the certificate of illness, which you can click. 
And now you can put the dates your patient has been absent. And like everything else we do, we want to print and submit once we've completed that. We will now end workflow three.